Hey guys, this is Simon with Drivefly RC. Um, I have an awesome package today. This package comes from GetFPV.com. Um, they ship really fast. Uh, these were $129.99. Um, this is the T Motor Air Gear 350 unboxing and mini review here. Um, we're going to take a look, open up the box, and look at the initial quality um, and just check it out. So stick around for a minute. Let's open this, this box. That's a take a look at the box here. Air Gear 350 multi rotor driving equipment set. Got a scan code. That's pretty much it. Air Gear 350 T Motor 350 set from getfpv.com. I will be doing a full review on these motors at a later time after I have some time to do some testing on them. Talks about setup and mounting. Probably just some noob stuff. Um, oh man, look at those. Looks like a uh, carbon filled props. Um, these are the self-tightening version uh, this nut actually comes off so you can use a traditional style mount on there that's traditional style bullet um, looks like you can use the t-motor style mounting with the screws too and I just might do that because I don't really like the bullets but um, I don't know if screws are any better though so <laughs> so yeah there's the the props I think they're uh, 95 45 yeah, they are a 9545. Um, <clears throat> quite a serious pitch on there. Uh, I'll review those as well later. Um, let's take a look at the motors now. I'm going to put these back. Let's take a look at the ESCs. <clears throat> All right, I am impressed with the packaging. That's pretty awesome. I'll try and get these out. I'm going to have to use my other hand. Okay, these are the T-Motor Air 20 amps. They run at 600 hertz, which is awesome, 3 and 4S. And my build, I definitely will be starting with 3S and then working my way up to 4S. And these don't include a 5 volt BEC on them. Um, they just have signal and ground wires on there. Uh, so we're gonna be using a separate UBEC on my build coming up, and I'll talk more about that later. Now, uh, this ESC, 20 amps for a 920 kilovolt motor um, is solid. You don't really need anything bigger than that. I have in the past used a 30 amp, but it's kind of overkill in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure if these are running the Simon K firmware. Somebody mentioned they might, it, it, they feel like BL Heli uh, firmware, but I, I'm not sure. I'll have to do some more research on that. My initial impressions of these ESCs are very good quality. Um, they already have the bullet connectors soldered in right there, which is nice. I don't typically use those, uh, but it makes it simple, especially if they're soldered right to the ESC. Um, it's uh, lightweight because it doesn't have a BEC in it, so it's not going to add a lot of weight to your multi-copter. The wires are high quality. Even the signal wires are the thicker style kind. Um, I, I'm very impressed with this. Uh, it seems like very high quality stuff. And I'm going to be running it at 600 hertz for sure. Uh, that's awesome. All right, for the main event here, the 2213 920 kilovolt T-Motor Air Motors from RC Tiger Motors. Um, this is from GetFPV.com again in this kit. This is a one-piece motor, but this is a thick hub. Um, it's got to be six or seven millimeters. Uh, I don't have a micrometer. I'd measure that for you. Um, the windings in there look beautiful the way the motor feels I've never felt a motor feel like this um, it just feels amazing I, I can't even explain it to you 
Look how thick that shaft is too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy, crazy. These look like crazy good high quality um, motors. I'm really excited about it. I'm glad that T Motor released an option that uh, you know was budget friendly and gave T Motor high quality. Uh, it just looks great. I'm just really happy with this motor. I can't wait to get it on my new build. So uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of your initial impressions of the motor. Um, thanks for watching. I'll have a new build coming up with these on it really soon. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like, comment below. Thanks. Have a nice day.